Huh? Yup. Yo guys, it's Kiralis and welcome back to part 8 of the Modern House 5 Let's Build. And you know, last episode we finished off some of the rooms on the inside. We made that study, we made this room here, which is like the kids room, stuff like that. Computers, pinball machines, and whatnot. It's looking pretty fancy, but today I'm gonna focus on the exterior. So I'm gonna like make one interior episode, one exterior episode or something like that. So what we will start doing is planning out because I want this path here to go to here. That's right, I'm gonna delete that. And how you been people? Are you good? Because I'm good. Are you good? I'm good. I'm fabulous. I'm fantastic. I'm feeling good. And no, I'm not really. I'm getting down with a cold or something. But yeah, shit happens, right? Shit happens. And hopefully you still enjoy this house. I know some of the lesser builds are quite many parts, but I mean, you know, if you want to make a house pretty, you need to spend some time on it. Otherwise it just turns out poopy. So don't rage, don't rage. It's episode 8, and I mean, we got like, look at this house. How humongous is in this? In 8 parts, I think we're doing good, 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 good. Even though this episode might include some speed ups. Let me just see, can we like make something like this? Oh yeah, baby. That's gonna work. And now that wall here will extend to this. Trust me on this. I know what I'm doing. No, I'm not really know what I'm doing. I'm gonna make a hole here. I'm gonna skip that. Hmm. It's not really symmetrical now, is it? But that doesn't matter. I mean, come on. We will fix this with some of this. Already looking like... Oh my god, it is looking amazing. Not really, but you know, we're trying. We're trying. So give me some time. This will look absolutely smashing when it's done. And a lot of you have been wondering, like, Kiralis, what application do you use to record? I use Fraps to capture my screen in, uh, in Minecraft, right? This looks derpy, by the way. Nah, that's a keeper. I'm keeping that. Uh, I use Fraps to capture my screen in Fraps. Then, like, you won't believe this, but, like, many people buy, like, expensive software, like... Sony Vegas and stuff like that and to be honest I've got that as well I've bought it and everything but I am mostly using Windows Movie Maker and it is free it's included in Windows and I'm happy with it like can we maybe yeah so that's what I'm doing I'm using fraps to capture and use usually the fraps files when you capture using fraps the files tend to be like I don't know really big like 60 70 gigabytes even more depends on the length of the episode and the settings which you're recording and if you're recording like in full hds then it's gonna be humongous so it's you gotta have a, like a quite big hard drive but then again like if you let's say that you let me just clear this out uh if you record like a half an hour episode one hour episode the file is like 100 gig maybe or even more, depends on, like, really depends on the settings. So usually you have to have like a big hard drive. And like, I mean, uploading that straight to YouTube would work, but it's just, it's just too big because it's just a raw file. So I use Windows Movie Maker to convert my files into, into smaller file sizes, <laughs> file sizes, file sizes. And you kind of lose some of the quality. Uh, you would let you lose less maybe using Sony Vegas because it's, uh, they got some pretty cool methods to to like convert the files and make them like different file formats. Uh, Windows Movie Maker is basically Windows Movie Maker file, so it is kind of kind of derp, but it works. I mean, 
I don't really need more. As I'm the guy who doesn't really edit that much in my videos, I just like record and upload it straight away. I don't need stuff like that. If you like are totally into like um, doing, you know, I'm thinking here. I'm just, I'm, let me just think here because this might look really bad, but I'm gonna make this like that maybe. Or maybe not, maybe you could take out this wall here, like that. Yeah, that's gonna work. Um, yeah, maybe you're like that guy who edits everything and make like cool uh, cool text over there, you movies and effects and stuff like that, then you're not good to go with Windows Movie Maker. But I mean, all the cutscenes I'm making and stuff like that, they're really made in Windows Movie Maker or using Windows Movie Maker and maybe Adobe. Adobe. Uh, so, it's not really that bad, I mean. I'm not that pro. Well, I am pro. I, I can use Windows Movie. Uh, like, I mean, I can use Sony Vegas without a problem. I have no application and it's pretty awesome. But I don't really use it that much because it doesn't really make any difference for me. And the rendering time is, is actually much higher using uh, Sony Vegas than Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker, like a 25 minute episode for me, takes about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes to render out and make it around, let's say, one and a half gig, maybe. Depends actually on the texture pack as well, because I've noticed when I'm using the Sfax texture pack on Feed the Beast which uh, series, which I'm doing right now, the file, even though I record maybe half an hour, the file size is around one gig. So it is something to do with the texture packs as well. It's not only the... That looks pretty, right? So that's a keeper. Um, so it's not only to do with like the quality and stuff like that. It's all just the texture pack as well. And I'm talking crap now. I'm f trying to focus on this. I shouldn't be talking right now because it, it otherwise it will turn out like totally crap, 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 fantastic. And I've, I'm, like today, I think we will focus on this. Look at this. This looks awesome already. I like this. You might hate it. I like it. And like some of you hate those pillars and I love them. So I'm keeping them. They're not going anywhere. And since I'm going to do the other side later on, because the other side will be a bit different than this side, I will just keep it like this. And I know I'm going to use a lot of of sandstone and I know might might be not the best material here. You can use whatever you want. I'm just gonna go with the sandstone just to make it light and bright. I don't want to use wood because that is quite boring on the back side here. So I thought like I'm gonna spice it up using this. And here we're gonna make like fountain not a fountain, a waterfall feature. And I'm gonna do a speed up there, I guess, because placing those blocks are, is so boring and it's actually no combination, it's just placing stone blocks. So what I will do now, I will just pick up those and you will be listening to some song. Let me just take set time set one, because we can. And uh, listen to the song and I'm gonna do a speed up. So guys, speed up, enjoy.
oh, like, I know this looks derpy, but we just need to wait and, you know, it's going to look awesome. And the best way to do stuff like that is just to replace the current terrain, yeah, delete the grass block, replace it with a stone, and then just go bananas on it, right? So I'm just going to leave it for now. What I will do now, I will make something down here. Let me just select maybe that. There we go. Double slap block. 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 It's a block, actually. To be honest, it is a block. As you can see what I'm doing now, I'm going to make something pretty here. Maybe not like really pretty, but it's going to be awesome. So don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. And I think we're just going to follow like this terrain here. Because that is a pretty natural line. If you're building this. And this will be like a water feature. It's not going to be a swimming pool or nothing. So don't worry about that. If you're thinking like, oh my god. That's the worst swimming pool in the history. Ain't going to be a swimming pool. Mm -mm. No way, Hosei. This is a water feature. Just to look pretty. Right? Right? Yep. Let's see, do we get any sand? Sand. And now, I'm using the sand bottoms just because they look so damn light, bright and awesome. Dirt can work as well. But, uh, I mean, nah, not for me. Sand is the shit. It is the shit. Let's see, maybe we can make something like that. Add one on this side. Add one here, here, maybe here, one in the middle like that. It ain't very big though, but don't worry. When we add stuff here later on, it's gonna be looking absolutely cool. Like, let me see, where's the pond at? That might be an entrance to the waterfall, but I'm not sure yet, so I'm just gonna delete it. Kinda feel like we need to delete some of those. Like that. Kind of turns out much better looking. Maybe add one here instead. No, that's, that's where we had it. Oh, God damn it. Here then. Just on the border here. No, it looks strange and all, but it's gonna work. And my nose is all itchy because I'm getting, I'm thinking I'm getting down with a cold or flu or whatnot. It's not cool. It is so not cool. Where's my water bucket at? And like, don't rage that I did a speed up of that, by the way, because like, there's actually nothing to see. It is quite pointless. And it is like, I can't really explain anything. It's just me placing blocks. And like, you won't be able to duplicate that as anyways, if you're making this house, because it's, it's just not, not done that way. It's just all up to you, the terrain you got and how you place your bushes and stuff like that so i'm thinking waterfall like i want one coming from i'm not really sure should make one here maybe and as you, as you know now this terrain will totally change drop it down here going down here dropping down here and going down into the Zivata here. So if I just place a water bucket, let me see if this works out. Awesome. There's one waterfall done. The next one will be coming from maybe like here somewhere. Like here. That would be a pretty awesome place. So let's see. Oh, what we could do here, though, I'm going to place glowstone here. Don't worry, I'm going to fix that real soon. So we won't even know there's glowstone there, but it's going to be light. And everybody's going to be, oh my god, that's a pretty light. Where is it coming from? Nobody will know because there's a glowstone there. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be dropping down here, dropping down like that, dropping down here. Take this up, dropping down here. And there's actually sand here, so let's leave that sand. Could have the sand there, don't worry, but I'm not having it. And dropping down here. So water bucket, try it out. And one from this side as well. That is looking pretty not cool. So let me see if I make a path on the other side as well. That might look pretty awesome, right? 
This is more important stuff. So watch and learn. Not really that important, but it is pretty cool to make. I love making stuff like this. So let me delete those two. Replace that. Block the water sources. Check it out if it looks all right. And I think it does. Maybe we could take down this though by one. There we go. And open them up. Where, <laughs> where's the water sources? There we go. That is looking snazzy. That's a keeper. And now time day. God damn it. I have day, day mode on. I don't know what's going on. Maybe that's like a, the wrong bin folder I selected. But I got the Optifine mod, so it should be the right one. Okay, that is it. That is for now. We're going to leave it at that. And now we're going to just extend this path. And I'm thinking like pools. I'm not going to do a pool at like at this moment. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do this in this episode even because I don't know if we're going to have the time. But, it, but like we're going to make stuff happen, don't worry. I'm thinking we should extend this area and I'm going to continue on that side later on. And we, I think we're going to have like elevated pools on different elevations because that looks so awesome. And I haven't really done that in a while, so why not? Why not? Oh, oh, just thinking like what would be awesome than having like a wooden bench like in the middle here somewhere, like maybe here, here, here. You know what, maybe you should make it like that instead. Awesome seating area. How pretty is that? Gotta love this. Gotta love this. That sure is a lot of stone here. We need to bush it up a bit. Bush it up, place some water lilies, place down some bushes, vines will be needed. Uh, where's the bush at? There we go, the bush and lamisol. What did we need? What did I tell we need? Sugar canes, right? Sugar canes. I can never find them, so I always search for sugar canes. It's just how I roll, right? It's not... Nothing else. Nothing else at all. Like that, like a total boss. Because we can. I guess two is enough. Two is looking very pretty. We love it, we love it, we love it. Still not really happy about the shapes here everywhere. Like, you know, when I hate something, I really hate it. And I'm going to make, like, attempts to repair it until it looks pretty. And I guess that is much prettier than it was earlier. So we're going to keep that. About the bushes. Um, glowstone. About the bushes. When you place them on, like, water, f uh, water things, try to find, like, places like this one, for example. Which is, like, hidden, so you can just place down a glowstone. Like this one here, for example. We could easily place one down here, and even here if you wanted to. So, like, look for those places. For example, here is a place for a bush. Or maybe here even. Then we can have glowstone, like, mucho glowstone. And then some bushes. I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with bushes. Why am I that? Like, I know I'm obsessed with bushes because bushes make a place look awesome. That's why I'm obsessed by bushes. Look at this. Like, I mean, before bushes, ain't cool. With bushes, amazing. Awesome. Now I am starting to love this. I'm just gonna play some of that. Nothing really special, but when it grows out, it might look pretty in some places, might suck in some places. Dead bush for the win. Dead bush for the win. So dead bush goes here. Dead bush goes there. Oh, I'm speechless. This is looking so pretty. And now, you don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking. You know what I'm thinking? I mean, I'm thinking about the tree. You know what? That bush might have to go. Let me see. Let me see. What, what, what is going on with me today? Bone meal. Bone meal. We need cobblestone. Uh, we need a dirt block, we need some wooden oak logs, and we need a sapling. This is gonna be very strange to see, but I'm thinking, like, if we remove this bush, this one, we can make a tree go 
grow here, basically. Yep, that can work, right? That can totally work. So take this up a bit. Pray to the gods that this will be an epic tree. Was that the oak tree? Yeah. Grow, bush, grow. Why ain't you growing? I know you want to grow. I know you want to grow. Can we just delete them then? There we go. Love and hate. What you think? I, I kind of like it. I think I'm going to keep it. If I'm going to replace it, I'm going to do it later on. And then just show you the final bush in the next episode. But I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. So I'm going to delete that bush. I'm going to place this here. And I'm going to try to connect that. The trunk of the tree to this block here. And make it look like kind of crooked. Mm, doesn't really work that way. That good though. So we need to move this to here. There we go. I know this will look very strange for some of you, but trust me, we're gonna make this work. Totally is, totally gonna. It's still not gonna work. Yeah, it's gonna work. I've got faith in this. And this will be here, this will be deleted. Like, there's supposed to be like a bush hanging here. And okay, it doesn't look as good as it should, but I'm happy with this. I'm going to go with that. We might plant one more tree. Some vines on it. And absolutely epicness. What do you guys think? You love it? I love it. You love it? Because you love it. If you love it, I, I kind of have to love it. And I feel that time is just running out. Like, every time I'm doing a let's build, the time just disappears. It's strange to say, but it's just too much fun doing this shit. And that's why time just disappears. Holy snapperoni! We're placing bushes like never before. Water features are the most fun to do. I love making exteriors and especially like water features like this. Like just imagine how much we can place on it. But I'm just gonna keep it at that at, the po at this point. I will plant some more trees in the background later on and just show you that. And that's gonna be like looking totally fantastic. So let's continue with this. Let's continue, let's continue, let's make it happen. Uh, oh yeah, I said we're gonna have a barbecue area, right? So I'm thinking barbecue area. I'm thinking. Let me see if we place. I'm just gonna count it out here. So if we place something here, place something here. Like that should be the seating area at least, and then we can have the barbecue here, right? So then we have a, a space which is four by four for sitting area and then a barbecue here. So <laughs> that is a done deal, yo. I won't ask, I won't, I would just want to show you this. So barbecue area, splendid, rain and everything. What can be better? You just gotta love the rain. Trust me, I'm used to the rain. Feed the beast, spawn base is at they're in the rainforest, in the middle of a rainforest, and it kind of sucks. It drives me mad. Whenever I, you know, I hate recording when it's raining. I don't know, maybe some of you are recording as well. And yeah, you know the feeling, like the sound. I can turn it off. I can turn particles off. But it's just so annoying. Still is annoying. It is annoying. Whatever you do, it's annoying. We get light. If the tree will burn down now, I don't know. Nah, yeah, I think it's safe. Oh no. Damn. So my nephew found this tool the other day and he was totally using it and I was totally pissed. Nah, I wasn't. That was a backup. For those who've seen the video about the troll, that is a backup. Like, I wouldn't allow him to play on the real world because if I, if I would, <laughs> the house would have been gone by now, so... Do not rage. I've seen some comments like, if you just have read or seen the video, it doesn't actually like me telling you that is a backup. 
So don't worry, guys, don't worry, really. Seating area here. I'm gonna make some, some different seating area here. Oh my god, this is, this is, I, I like this, I like this. This is looking pretty. Like, look at the water feature. Everything's gonna be, I'm gonna have like, like a pool area. Maybe on that side or up here on the plateau. Like, just some elevated pools, different elevations and stuff going on. But that's gonna happen, don't worry. That is gonna happen. Piston. Oh shit. I have deleted that. There we go. We are back on track. We are back on track. I'm actually gonna place one more piston here. With something on. Or maybe not. We can't place something on pistons, right? So I'm just gonna use this. And I think I think this looks very droopy in this texture pack. I don't know why, but it just doesn't look like as good as it should. A small bush. On the other side, oh, jukebox. So look at this symmetrical shape. Oh no. <laughs> not, not what I meant. This is what I meant. Look at this. It's actually, oh, it's actually five by five. No, it's four by four, right? It's four by four. Yeah, it's four. I thought this was five by five, but it's four by four. Four, 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 yep, four by four. So that is our little sitting area. I could place like those frames here, item frames, but I'm not gonna use them because otherwise it just takes up too much space and people won't be able to get in. Even though this is Minecraft, you won't be able to get in. Whatever you do, you won't be able. You won't be able to. I wanna have this block. So I'm gonna leave it at that. At the moment, at the moment, I'm just gonna leave it here, leave it hanging. So what I will do, I'm thinking about this wall. I want to have like the special arches as the other way, because I'm gonna have like go for like this little Mediterranean feel. I don't know really if that is how Mediterranean houses look like, but you know what I mean. A lot of sandstone, pretty stuff going on. Arches, maybe a bit Morocco themed. Kinda works, kinda works. Let me try out something here then. Like if I make a big window here. Let me see. Alright, that was not what I was going for though, but but yeah. Heidi ho. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I can't have a big window here then. Hmm. So if we make a small window here just to keep the symmetrical shape flowing on that window. So small window, and that should be a big window here. So what I'm gonna do, oh yes, bye bye. Use some sandstone slabs. And I got a funny feeling this video is getting long. If you're getting tired of this, I am sorry. Awesome. So now we got that symmetrical shape, so I'm just gonna do this here. Oh, this is so pretty. My eyes are in tears. Because it's so pretty. Should we go for the small windows again, maybe? Let me see, because I kind of want to have a symmetrical feeling here as well, and we won't have that. That is a big window, by the way. I wanted a small window. There we go, that's a small window. And now we can have a big window here. Because when you go going through this path, you want to see, have the big window, like opening up the place. We could delete those here as well. That like, might look like pretty awesome, pretty different. Maybe not. Now that is that looks too squarish and plain, so I'm just gonna keep it like this. What happens if I place it here then? Nah, that looks derp. So And how do we continue this? I need to make one more small window, I guess. Just because we can. Awesome. So that is kept, that is being kept. I'm gonna have a, I don't know, actually no window here, just a wall going into this 
side of the mountain. There we go. Problem solved, problem evaded. Just keep a small bush here as well. Going down here. So let me see, how does this look? I am so happy. This looks actually fantastic. I love these shapes. So that is done. The other side will be done in the next video because that is quite, you know what I mean. I'm going to do that. So what I will do here, I'm just thinking, what should we place here? Should we place some stairs like... Nah. There's a stair here at least. We're going to figure this area out later on. I'm not worried. But hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And you know what? I'm going to plant some trees and I will resume from there. Because I don't want to waste the time in this video. So I'm just going to place some trees in the background. And I will see you shortly after that. Right? So see ya. Oh my god. We got trees. We got a bunch of trees. Snap. You know what? Might be too many. But you know, I love trees. I love bushes here. So I'm happy with this. Like imagine just sitting at your barbecue area and just looking up. That is cozy. So we added like three more trees and a bunch of grass and some glowstone. And like we are so happy. I'm happy with this. That is a definitely a keeper. How does it look at distance? Oh my god, this looks amazing. So we'll be coming here. At least I think so. I don't know if you think so. If you think so, please say it in the comments. Give it a like or something. I don't know. Do whatever. I would be happy whatever. Look at this. Bam, ba -dum, bam, bam, ba -dum. All these nice windows and things. Bam. Guys, we're happy. Thank you for watching this episode. And I will resume soon again. I think we will finish the interior, exterior, I mean. And then just do interior. And, and we are done. Snap, this would be an awesome house. So, thank you for watching. And see ya soon. Diamonds and love. Take care and bye-bye. I don't want to be a zombie.